All right, how you doing, Final Wordians? My name is Lee Boy. You're listening and watching Lee's Final Word. Today, we'll be covering the ancient Hindu weapon for creating metahumans, the Brahmastra, better known as the Philosopher's Stone. Now, if you like this video, hit the comment section below, hit that liking button, and don't forget to subscribe for more. All right, the CW hasn't truly given us anything about this, uh, this ancient weapon. They've been telling us about how Julian was studying it for years. You know, to try to find a way to bring back his dead sister. And um, what we've been led to believe is that this stone has something to do with Savitar. CW has yet to tell us about this mystical object. And in the DC comic books, Dr. Alchemy is the person that really handles it. Um, at one point, he even controlled and took over the body of Earth 2 Supergirl known as Power Girl. But the properties in the comic book is that the stone is able to transmutate objects from one element to another. You could turn a chair into pure gold. Uh, but something like what Firestorm does on DC's Legends of Tomorrow, where he's able to turn a bomb into jelly beans. Yeah, figure that one out. From now, what we know about the show is that the object is able to give metahumans their power. Julian, under the control of Savitar, was able to give people their flashpoint abilities. From this, we can assume that these meta powers and things that people have are dormant abilities that needed to be awakened. Let's talk about some people. Let's talk about Wally West. Keep in mind, this is based on the fact that both Jesse and Wally were hit by the particle accelerator, yet Jesse got her powers and Wally did not. Now, when Barry created Flashpoint, Wally did get his speed and was the Flash of that timeline. When Barry tries to fix the timeline via the help of the Reverse Flash, Wally lost his speed and was a bit jealous and obsessed that Jesse had hers and he did not. Let's talk about Edward Claris, aka the rival, the arch nemesis of Wally West in the Flashpoint timeline. He was given his speed back by Dr. Alchemy, also via the Philosopher's Stone. The stone has also been able to admit projectile powers as it was able to strike down Barry on multiple occasions when he was the Flash very effectively. Now the link with Savitar. Savitar and the stone has a connection as it seems that his essence is somehow attached to the stone itself. When Team Flash has it in the box in their possession, with it closed, Savitar is unable to come out. But this didn't stop Savitar from tricking Cisco into opening the box and releasing him on both Barry and Wally. Caitlin was able to convince Cisco to close the box, once again trapping Savitar back within the stone. Now, because of the awesome power of this stone, there's some things that we gotta understand if they ever bring it back into play. We need some questions answered. How did Savitar get this stone in the first place? Does the stone have a connection to the Speed Force? Savitar is supposed to be trapped in the Speed Force, yet he needed the stone to get out of the Speed Force and wasn't fully able to come out until Julian had first found the box. Can the stone truly resurrect the dead? This has been a key selling point that Savitar used both on Julian and Cisco that the stone was able to bring back their loved ones. If the stone is able to restore powers, is it also able to restore life? Also, in the recent pictures that's been coming out, people have been making a lot of noise and the internet is in an uproar about what it is that Barry is actually holding or having in that new Future Flash suit. People are saying that it's the Flash ring emitting this blue light. But as one of my fellow uh, Wordians have pointed out to me that this could be actually Barry holding the Philosopher's Stone. Could this be the tool that's being used that he's going to use to try to trap Savitar and save Iris? Will Barry be able to use the Philosopher's Stone? Is this something that's going to come into play in the future? You guys let me know in the comments section below what do you think about the Philosopher's Stone. There's a lot of theories out there about who Savitar is, but not much about the stone. Hit the comment section below, hit that liking button, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out.